Then you've got this little front courtyard area where all the bins are stored. Okay, so before we get started in the actual flat, if this is your first live tour with us, um, if there are any internet problems at any point, just let me know. Um, we can send you the recording afterwards so you can have a look that way. Alternatively, if you do have any questions for me at any point or need me to look at anything again, please just pop me a comment um, and I'll be happy to yeah, go back and answer any questions. So we're just in the communal area first of all. So there's six flats in total. And then number two is on the, the ground floor. So we're just here. Okay. So as you come in, you've got the bathroom through to the left. So we'll go there first. So radiator in the bathroom and then the sink unit with a little mirror above as well. And then we've got like a little separation there. So you've got a shower to one side here. So there's an electric shower there. And then flipping you around, you've then got the toilet behind as well. And the window which does have like the privacy glass. There is the front door, so a little entrance area there. And then you've got your kitchen area slash diner here. So you've got obviously behind the ironing board, you've got a little bit of storage there in the cupboard. A nice long radiator. And then work surface has, you know, wrapping all the way around. A few cupboards just below. And then above as well. You've got your gas hob and oven. And then the extractor fan above as well. We've got storage either side. And you've also got little little area underneath sort of white goods there. So I'm assuming that this will be for the um, the washing machine. So you've got plumbing um, down there to the left. So that's I'm assuming where the washing machine would go. Yeah, so there's plumbing and um, little gap there. And then there's also a plug in this drawer here for the, um, the electric. So that's where the space for the washing machine would be just under the sink. If I flip you around, you've got this like little area over there. So obviously you could get a little table and chairs set on that wall there. And then in the corner, you've got the boiler as well. So coming through now. So this is going to be sort of the, um, the bedroom area there. Obviously you can, you know, configure it because it's a good size space. Um, so obviously you can try and work out how to make it like a bedroom slash a living area. Maybe with like a, a pull down bed that turns into a sofa as well. That's a yeah, decent sized space. Obviously you've got the, the really nice ornamental fireplace there as well. And lots of like the um, really nice features of the building, including the light fitting, the trims around the side. Also got another radiator in here as well. And then the window leading you out to the front. So obviously just to bear in mind, I do believe this is sort of, yeah, single pane. Um, so something to bear in mind with the road traffic. And just behind as well, we've got our thermostat. So just to show you, that's where that is. That's how you can program everything. But yeah, this is the sort of the living room space here. Okay. And that pretty much concludes the um sort of the, the video recording tour there. Um obviously it doesn't last too long as it's being a studio. Um but if you do have any questions for me, if you need me to quickly look at anything again, please just let me know. Um the next steps from here, if you were basically interested we would like to send you on an online form just to get a few details. 
that will then go over to the owner of the property and as long as they're happy to proceed we can then arrange a physical viewing to request those applications if you can give us a call in the office our phone number is 01795 429 836 and if you can just have the names and email addresses of all adults looking to move into the property so we can get those sent alternatively you can send us an email our email address is rentals that's with an s at queely.co.uk okay so i'm not getting any new questions coming through and um, so i'm going to go ahead and end the live tour there and um, so thank you very much everyone for joining us um, and yeah we hope to hear from you sh soon thank you bye bye